Hello, my name is Kalen Bagnall, and I'm today presenting my Spring 15 112 term project, Pokemon Play. The project was dubbed so to represent CMU's school color, which would follow with the name scheme of the original Pokemon games. Uh, within my project, I aim to provide an experience unique to myself, but also familiar to Pokemon fans as a whole. The game's based on the fourth generation of Pokemon games, which I, and luckily most of my classmates, grew up playing. And so I figured I could cultivate this familiar experience, as well as providing a unique twist with the things I learned in 15112. I also wanted to up the difficulty of the game somewhat, and so uh, I'll demonstrate the AI in this video. Alright, so let's get into it. So this is Pokemon Play, and as you can see, it is definitely based on the Generation 4 graphics. The game definitely follows the natural arc of a classic Pokemon game. And so we can see by coming over to this sign right here, that Route 1 is going to be to the left. And currently we're in Shady Side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little stroll down Route 1 and we're going to see how it plays out. Alright, so here I am at the entrance to the next route, so let's go on a hook. Alright, and there's a trainer right here that it seems that we need to battle to get through the route. So let's go ahead and enter that battle. Alright, so we're challenged by Ace Trainer Ash. We have a Charizard, they have a Swamper. We have Fly, Crunch, Fire Blast, and Overheat. Now, just for my basic knowledge of Pokemon, I'm going to say that we should probably use Fly. And that does a good amount of damage, and it helps with how much greater our level is than theirs. Uh, that influences the damage, as well as types, uh, the type of move that you use, all sorts of things. Uh, just like a normal game. We're going to use Crunch again, and we take them out. Porygon Z, good amount of damage, we'll use it again. Oh, they used a potion. As you can see, their health didn't quite drop as low because they healed beforehand, and then we dropped their HP again. So we're gonna use Crunch one more time. Porygon fainted, sent out Gengar. We can definitely use Crunch and do some big damage here. And so you can hear that it was super effective, did a lot of damage. Gengar fainted, defeated Ace Ash, and there we go. All right, so we're gonna continue down the route. And I'm going to start walking in some of the tall grass, and there's a 10% chance we'll experience an encounter with a wild Pokemon. Okay, and so here we've encountered a wild Starly. And these wild Pokemon are normally much weaker than the average trainer Pokemon. So as you can see, they're level 27. Now, we could battle them. However, we can also save some of our time, and we can just simply try and run away. And if we're faster than the wild, then we can get away. Due to the level difference, I would say that there's definitely a strong chance of us being able to run, so let's try it out. There we go, got away safely. Okay, so I've made it to the end of the route, and now we can try and continue on. And it looks like there's going to be a rival battle here. Let's go on ahead, and I'm pretty sure that Fire Blast would be a good move against Dwebbles, let's try this out. And yeah, there we go. And then Amolga, we don't want to use the flying move, because that will be weak against Amolga, because it's an electric flying type. However, if we use it, we can see that... Yeah, it's not going to do as much damage because it's not very effective. Now, they use Shockwave. That was super effective against us. It did a good amount of damage. We're going to go back through. Let's just use Crunch. They used the Hyper Potion, so we didn't get enough damage. And now, Girder is a fighting type, so we can try and use Fly, and that should do some good damage. And there we go, yeah. And same with Riolu. And there we go. The battle ended, and we won. And now we're in a new town, Melon City. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon, because that route was pretty difficult. So there we go, we just talked to the nurse. Now let's say that you've been playing for a while, and if we look at the map, the map is quite expansive. So one thing that we could think about doing is coming over onto the map, and maybe finding somewhere that we want to fly to. Um, this is the starting town, we've already been here. Let's fly over. And there we go. And we continue on our journey. Thank you for watching the video. I'd like to give a special thanks to my two professors, Mike Taylor and David Cosby, as well as my mentor, Kruti, for helping me through the project. I hope you enjoyed this short demo of my Pokemon game. And thank you. Bye-bye.